Hi there. Here we are in August. August is a spectacular month because it has two full moons. So welcome lunatics and um, get ready. The first song is called Olive Tree. Some of you have seen the European tour. I've heard it already. In the misty silver night My eyes fall to the ground I can feel it come alive In the seeds pushing out through the soil New life weaves its way out through the coil Nothing's gonna hold this movement Part of the theme of this, of this song and of the record really is is that we are yeah part part of everything as I said in Io but uh, but these natural worlds of um, non-human intelligence um, are out there and we haven't yet been smart enough to understand what they're communicating and how they communicate. The song is one of those taken from this next brain project. Uh, and at this point, the helmet which our hero is wearing allows him to sort of enter other worlds, maybe in the way psychedelics might. Uh, so he feels connected and plugged into to nature um, and to other minds. So um, at this point, he's sort of in full flood uh, experiencing these other consciousness um, and and I guess I'm also intrigued in this idea that uh, certainly with the interspecies internet project uh, about which I've talked a fair bit but um, there is a lot of intelligent life uh, as we call it and other life forms that I think we can probably connect to in different ways and probably could teach us a lot I think this was always a fairly up, up tempo song, although I wanted some, so it should have some speed to it, but I wanted some mystery. I've got the sunlight warming my back, warming up on my pants. I've got the cool breeze right on my skin, bringing every cell to life. it is a celebration in a way and this um, real sense of being alive and water uh, water is always huge for me but water pouring down um, and yes I have tried the cold showers the line about water falling over me I mean I love any chance of getting wet and getting into water that's not really the source of inspiration for the song. I think it's it's just full immersion in the senses. Uh, uh, you know, we often live in our head and this is maybe a way of getting into the body. I've been very interested in these sort of brain reading experiments. It's all sort of feeding into this idea that we're no longer these islands that have our private thoughts, that our thoughts are going to get opened or at least perhaps we will hopefully control when they're opened up to the outside world. Because um, the sort of lubrication that allows society to move, I think is based in part on not being able to read what's going on in other people's minds. Um, so uh, unless we get more comfortable with how we really are, which I think is an evolutionary leap a little too high right at the moment. Um, we're probably going to prefer to stay partly buried in our private worlds. And actually the song I wrote many years ago, Here Comes the Flood, was talking about this idea and just seeing if there is... Uh, the flood was a sort of flood of thought, of brain connections. 
Um, and in some ways, you know, I, as in IO, I do think we are part of everything and probably have means to connect and communicate with everything that we shut off. You know, we want to shut out the noise of everything else. But probably hidden in that noise, there are all sorts of things that I think we will get much more sensitive to in the future and have tools that allow us to become much more sensitive. When people try and think about the future, it tends to be either dystopia and it's all gone wrong or utopia and it seems totally unrealistic or naive. But actually, probably what we want is a sort of flexitopia or evotopia, that is evolving and responding to the situation as it changes. I think that is another subject on this record and probably age appropriate of trying not to judge things in binary form, good, bad, but to try and see them all as part of a whole and see if there's a way of using the the combination of all that as a step up to somewhere else. And I think a lot of spiritual practice is probably trying to do that. Um, but um, we're in a society that at the moment is pushing people apart, partly because there is commercial gain on holding people's attention. And when websites are getting us riled, getting us more into sort of our old animal selves, uh, sort of angry and prey and predator, um, we're getting very polarized. Um, and that, I think, makes us much more likely to judge rather than tolerate and accept and look for common ground, um, which is dangerous. And I think there are various people, including my niece, Alison Goldsworthy, working on this subject. I think it's pretty important at the moment. This song features some beautiful, stunning work from Barthélemy Toguo, who is split between Cameroon and Paris. Um, but I met him first at Womad, where he came as artist in residence. And uh, he's done quite a few of these people tree forms or with different sort of transformations. And I was aware of his work, although I didn't know um, the name attached. I, some of the images I found very haunting, very strong. Um, so I was delighted when uh, I saw he'd been booked for, for Womo. That was certainly the first time I met him. Um, but I wasn't talking about this project at that time. And then when I was so sort of thinking about connecting to nature and all that stuff, uh, his work came up again, and um, and I'm I'm delighted. I think it's super strong and looks wonderful on stage. He listened to the song, so the the work was created as a direct response to the music, which hasn't always been the case. Um, in some cases, we've used existing work with artists, but generally they've chosen something that they thought was appropriate. But here, yeah, he, he was determined that he should create something new. And I'm very glad he did. It's wonderful. Okay, lunatics, that's all for today. Uh, I look forward to seeing you on the next one, I hope. And um, have a good summer in the meantime. Unless you're in the Southern Hemisphere, in which case, have a good winter. Thank you.